A bottle of white. Thing A is twisted root baguette, which is really good because it's thin. It's a little bit like ciabatta. You can use ciabatta or use your favorite bread that's really thin. It's going to crisp up nice in the oven. We got some olive oil and I put some garlic in here. It's been sitting in here for a few minutes so the flavors are all infused. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to brush the bread. We're going to crisp it up a little bit two times actually. First I'm going to put it in the oven with the olive oil on it. For a few minutes or so you can even pop it in the broiler for a little bit if you want. And then we're going to pull it out, put the mozzarella on and then bake it again. So it's going to be nice and crispy and flavorful. So just olive oil, a little bit of garlic, throw it in the oven for a few minutes. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but the bread got nice and crispy in the oven. It looks really amazing, and it smells so good, too, because of the garlic. We're going to take a little bit of oregano, sprinkle that all over the bread. Oh, my mouth is watering right now. Then I have some fresh mozzarella, just cut into little pieces, and then just spread it all around here. Mmm, what happened to that one? Oops. <laughs> Pretty no-fail, too. If you don't cook a lot, I mean, really, really easy, easy thing to make. Just arrange it all nice on there, rustic style. Pop it back in the oven for a few more minutes so it melts off. Okay, to add the toppings. I have some half cherry tomatoes, just one container of them. Use your hands and just throw them on there all over the place. This is the bruschetta part of our little dish. You can always put more mozzarella in there. I look like I was kind of cheap with it. Whoops, we lost one tomato. Then I have some yellow peppers. It's actually just one roasted yellow red pepper. You could use yellow tomatoes, but I couldn't find any in the store, so this will do. Just bought a roasted, uh, just bought a pepper, and I roasted it when I got home. And that adds some nice color, nice flavor and color. I love colorful dishes and working with vegetables. <laughs> and working with vegetables. What a dork. I'm really tired. Then I'm going to take some crushed red pepper. <laughs> Just sprinkle it over the top, add a little kick of heat. Don't get too crazy with it because it's really spicy. Then, where the heck is my basil at? I just have a whole bunch of basil that I just chopped. You could chiffonade it, whatever. I just did it real rustic, just a nice, quick, rough chop. Sprinkle it all over the top of your bruschetta. And this is so healthy, too. The only thing in it really, I guess, would be bad for you is the bread. But who cares? I think it's really, really healthy. Look how colorful and beautiful that looks. And for good luck, what the hell, why don't we put some Parmesan cheese? I know, I'm probably killing you guys right now. You're probably so jealous. But it's really simple, easy, something you can make. There you go. Chop it up and you're all set. There goes your dinner.